Welcome. It's the 3rd of November, 2023. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Topics for today include, include Google Summer of Code 2024, Contributor Spotlight, Version Documentation, Upcoming Change Log for the New Release, and Hacktober 20, Hacktoberfest 2023 results. Anything else, Chris, that you want to be sure is on the list? No. Okay, well, so let, why don't you start us off with Google Summer of Code then? Okay, so um, we've just started preparing for GSOC 2024, and um, we have uh, started some documents for organizing the, uh, the event. And um, I think we need more time to get more details, to confirm some details. But uh, for now, we are collecting ideas and are recruiting mentors. Good, very good. And do we have, I know that we've had a documentation topic, topics previously. Are you think it's still okay to consider documentation ideas for, uh, for 2024? I think so, yeah. Great, thank you. Thanks very much. And now working with you on that is you've got Bruno Verachten, uh, you've got Alyssa Tong, right? Yep. And I think John Mark is helping out, even though he won't be won't be on the project. Where he'll be have been re reached retirement by the time the project finishes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Next topic was contributor spotlight. Uh, thanks. You've done so. You, as far as I understand it, you've done a uh, has created a mockup and a site a site repository, right? Yeah. Uh, the mockup didn't. Uh, I didn't come up with the mockup. Someone else did. Um, oh. oh but, okay. All right. Yeah, I did the code to implement it. And now, is that something that we could sh show right now? Is there a, a prototype mm -hmm. available on that, that site? Because you had created the repository on Jenkins Infra, if I remember right. I think so, but before that, before that, I have a repo and uh, let me find it. So it should be, um, let me Let's see. It was it. something contributor, is it something stories, if I remember right? Nope, contributor. It's like, I think I have a link to, um, to, to a deployment on here we go cool. jenkins contributor spotlight yeah but hang on because i need to think because you got the link so the link is here let me show on the chat this one oh okay so there is a there's a prototype a preview site available here yeah and now now when i had looked at this one this one doesn't have content in it so Sarah Jenkins is, so, so has Kevin not put the content in yet or? Not yet. Not yet. So this one is just ah. for example, we just, just to show how it works. The code, I see. The code is there, but we don't have real content yet. I see. Okay. So Kevin's, Kevin's gathering the content, but hasn't yet pushed it into the repository. Yep. And we haven't, uh, I, don't, I don't think we've hosted it yet. And, and that I know of. I so that one, the infrastructure team confirmed they have not hosted it yet. Uh, they were trying to decide where should it go, and their initial assessment was just like we have stories.jenkins.io. They thought something like contributors.jenkins.io as a top level, top level domain name. Yep. And I assume you're okay with that as well. Great. I have a question though. It's like for for the code for this page. Where we can they find that? Oh, this like one. Stories. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So if we, I think you can find it if you click read user stories, and it will then give us at the bottom of the link at the bottom of the page a link. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I'm. I, oh, here we go. Improve this page. Let's see if this does what it's supposed to. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so the stories site is here. All right, so use a use HTTPS 
contributors.jenkins.io similar to stories.jenkins.io source for stories is at this location source for contributors ah. will be at this location whoops no this one Thanks very much for your work creating that. How difficult was it to create that Gatsby site? I mean, did you find that complicated? Mm, it's, it's a bit work to get it like, functional, but it's not too difficult. See, having never done, never done serious web development, I'm always amazed at how beautiful pages come out when people do that. So thank, thank you for your work. You're welcome. Anything else on Contributor Spotlight? Um, not yet, but uh, we have like been floating an idea of like eventually like uh, integrating the, the contributor spotlight with the success story. Ah, okay. Uh, so under the same site, under the same domain. Maybe eventually, but not not sure yet. Or maybe uh somehow like um redirecting one to the other. Oh, okay. Okay, good. And the the reason for that is that you feel like it'll be a stronger site overall if it's if they're combined. Um, I think I think the the idea start of like maybe. Kevin or maybe someone else. It's not not really me, but I think it's a good idea to 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 have both, and they they're kind of related. So. Mm, okay. Yeah. They they and they certainly are related, right? In terms of how the uh, how users and contributors are are strongly connected. Yeah. It's cool. I like that map. Great. All right. Any other items you want to highlight on Contributor Spotlight? Mm, no. Okay, version documentation. So how is how are things going there? I've seen continued progress between you and Vandit. Yep, but um, we are trying to work more this month because there will be some holidays coming up mid of November in India. And uh, Vandit may have more time then. Uh, he wants to push to try try to um, have the site ready by end of November. That's the idea. Wow. Okay, that's bold. Good for him. All right. Yeah, but but I I from 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 like from my experience, it may not be possible. But um, we're trying. Great. Well, and Van Deed's done an incredible amount of work on the site, right? That's that's just amazing how much work he's done. Yeah. Did you did you want me to show a show a, a view of the current site while we're here? So yeah. Let's see if we can find the link to the to the. I'm not. I'm not sure if like the blog um is showing on a. Ah, okay, so it may not have the, oh, here's the GitHub repo. And if I remember right, it's got a a link. Whoops, come on. Yeah, it's on the action. So, oh, there we go. Very good. That's just certain toys like though. Ah, okay. So this does not have the links because he's been working at Vandi. has been working on the blog, blog layout, and that's not integrated into this, into this view. No, no, not yet. But the, I tell you, I love the, I love the left-hand navigation here yeah, and the, and the version, the magic of version documentation. Yeah.
and it still embeds the videos and it still has pictures. Can we work a lot, a lot more like um, in between when it's ready and when it's going to be published? Because like there, there's bound to be like new PRs coming in unless we do a feature freeze. So, so, and that's because right now he's, he's operating on a copy of the, of the files, not based off of the original branches, right? He's, he's had to do content changes in order to get images correct and get things structured correctly for the new site. Yep. Yeah. I like the, I like the layout, the, the, the YAML file syntax highlighting is really nice. Good, thank you. Yeah, I think I think I think uh, they did a very good job on the enterprise side. Let's see, I was going to embed the link to that. Okay. Great. Anything else on on the progress on on the documentation? No. Okay. And in terms of how how are, is is this is the ultimate destination a docs.jenkins.io site so that the existing site is still available in case in case there's something not here or are you intending to replace www.jenkins.io with the version site? Um the thing is like for for the entire part we can use docs but for the rest um for the gatsby part for the blog we have to of uh, the blog we have to integrate with the home page because ah, like, right. a lot on the home page has to uh come comes from the, the blog content okay so so the the things under the documentation link at least the top half the documentation user guide that would be versioned yeah. And therefore that comes, that could go to docs.jenkins.io or it could stay here. Either is fine. The, the developer guide, for instance, is not versioned. So it won't go to, oops, it won't go to a. I think it can go on the docs as well. That point. I think it's oh, great. okay. So it's okay to have both versioned and non-versioned in the same, in the same site hierarchy in the same set of pages. Ah, okay, good. All right. Anything else on version documentation? No. Okay, so next one was the 2.426.1 change log. And here, it's just to note that we need to review what Kevin submitted as a pull request as part of the change log. And, and it just, this one needs several hours of review and I haven't had the time to do the review yet. He's, okay. he's been through it multiple times and used the backporting pull request and the release checklist to, to guide what he's doing. So here's the, thank you very much, by the way, for your work and for Alex Brandis's work on making this release checklist so, so easy to follow. It's been a treat. Okay, good. Anything else on change log? No. Okay, Hacktoberfest. The last one is the we're proud to announce that we have reached the end of Hacktoberfest two days ago and 400, 400 over 400 pull requests. Of those, over 350 were validated and merged. So validated, either marked as accepted or, or marked as merged. And again, that's a, about a 30% de decrease from 2022, which we've heard from other open source projects is about the same for what they've seen. So this is not an uncommon reduction and I've seen much less spam so for me, I think it's a net positive that DigitalOcean decided to stop shipping t-shirts around the world. Yeah. 
anything anything you want to share in terms of your observations, Chris? How what was your experience dealing with Hacktoberfest contributors? I think um, a lot less aggressive behavior overall, but um, the experience has been paid positive. Good. All right. Thanks. Thanks very much. That covered all the topics for today. And I know you've got a working day ahead. Anything else we need to review? Um, oh, what, what about a Git lab plugin for the second project? Still Is needs it? still needs okay. testing. Still not okay. at the top of my my queue. Okay. I apologize, but still well, right now the because of the things that I need to do for CloudBees around 2.426.1, that's getting almost all of my focus. Okay. Good question. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? No. All right. Thanks, Chris. Recording will be available in probably 24 hours or so. Thanks a bunch and have a great day. Okay. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.